How you grip the golf club is of vital importance. Grip it incorrectly and it could wreak havoc on your game. Grip it correctly and your game could go to a whole new level. In today's video, I'm going to show you what's wrong and what's right. So before I get into the video, I want to give a big shout out to, uh, to who I learned this from, uh, Mike Adams, Terry Rolls, and EA Tischler. Uh, they, they have a, a golf ball dynamics uh, course that they teach in their system. Uh, they're all spectacular teachers, so if you get a chance, I highly recommend you follow them on social media. But uh, whenever I learn something from somebody and find it extremely useful and like to put it in my videos to help all of you out there, I must give credit to where credit is due. So for any of you who watched our video on how to take your grip for your lead hand and how important that is, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the grip for the trail hand, or at least determine what your hand should look like on the club when you're taking your trail hand grip. And if you haven't seen the video on how to take the grip with the lead hand, I'm going to, I'll post that link uh, down in the description below. So if you're going to, to determine where you're going to take your, your uh, grip for your trail hand, all I want you to do is get set up as if you're going to hit a golf ball, and I want you to put your palms close together. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to just swing your arms back. I don't want you to turn your shoulders so you're not making a full swing. I just want your arms to swing back until your lead arm hits your chest and your right, for me, my right elbow, your trail elbow is going to bend at a certain point. Where it bends and where your palm is facing at that point will be how your hand would be on the grip at that point in the swing. So for me, my elbow bends backwards and up and my palm faces somewhat down so that when I take my grip, it needs to match. So I would have a neutral to slightly weak grip in my trail hand as such, because that's the way that my arm hinges when I take it back. If you were someone like a Tiger Woods, you're gonna have a neutral hinge when you would take your arms back and your palms would be, your elbow would be slightly tucked and your palm would be perpendicular, or I'm sorry, parallel to the ground if I drew a line straight out from it. And if you were a uh, uh, should have a stronger grip a la like a Dustin Johnson. When you did this exercise, your right elbow would fold very quickly and your palm would be pointed up to the sky, which means when you grip the club, the palm would be in a similar position as such. So give those two exercises a try. I think you're really going to notice for some of you who are tr having trouble with your ball striking that you might need a modification either in your lead hand grip or your trail hand grip. And once you do that, the rest of your swing might just naturally fall into place. Hey everybody, thank you for watching another one of our videos. We hope you picked up something that's beneficial to your game. If you tried what we just gave you today, love to hear about it. Post it in the comments below. Don't forget to click subscribe. We'd love to have you as a follower. You can also hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter under The Golf Paradigm. And don't forget to follow the hottest podcast in golf, our podcast called Golf 360. If you'd like to subscribe or watch some more of our videos, you can do so right over here.